Okay, PKI, the Cross Forest Saga continues. We're going to establish this Cross Forest PKI Trust so that we can deploy certificates from the AACO PKI environment in the BBCO.local forest. You recall we did install PKI in both forests, but we're going to use AACO in the BBCO forest. So first we're going to establish an Active Directory Trust. It's always good to verify your trusts while you're doing that. Okay, so now we're going to set up to work on uh, the PKI side of things. First off is going to be enabling LDAP referral support for the resource uh, PKI environment, which is AACO. I'm going to add the AK, AACO uh, Tucson ICA1 to the Certificate Publishers group in BBCO. I'm opening RegEdit here to show you where a lot of these Cert Util uh, registry settings wind up. Local machine, system, current, services, Cert Serve. And if you open that up under configuration, you'll actually see the name of the certificate service, AACO CA. So and a lot of these cert util changes land in that area there. This one included. There was a space in there somewhere. I have to go back and fix that. Okay, you can see that value was added. Oh, it's obviously some sort of multi-valued uh, registry key. And we just added a, one or two more values to it. Restart the service. Let's get the Tucson ICA computer account in the CERT Publishers group in BB Coforest. Doing that on Phoenix DC1, the domain controller for BBCO. Make sure when you're adding that you select the computer object type so that you can actually find computer objects. Okay, so Tucson ACA ones in BBCO's certificate publishers group. The CRL and distribution points are going to be available because they're all HTTP. We saw that was good. So here we're creating uh, the root CA cert so that we can copy it from AACO to BBCO. I'm going to do this on the domain controller for BBCO. Phoenix DC1 is where I'm going to copy this certificate to you. Then we're going to use cert util ds publish to place this certificate as a trusted root CA in BBCO. Okay, there you see in uh, ADSI edit, it lines up in the Certificate Authorities folder in BBCO. Now we're going to establish the Enterprise 
and issuing CA certificate as well. Just do a little copy and paste there so we're talking about the same thing. You would have to perform these steps for each issuing server that you wish to uh, publish in the other forest. Okay, now that's done. And I'm going to show you where some of that lands. There's the root of the PKI service, that NT auth certificates uh, object. And you can see basically we added another certificate to this particular attribute there. That reflects AACO uh, CA. Couldn't see that Phoenix DC1 was going to trust this certificate though. So we're going to thrash around a little bit more and see what we can do about that. Tucson, I mean, Phoenix ICA1, we get on there, we run a GP update. And we can actually see now AA code drops into the trusted uh, root authorities bracket, firing up our Win 10 machine in BB code to see if it trusts the certificate. Just a couple of minutes left. Uh, looking forward to doing another video where we actually show a proper way to issue a two tier PKI environment. Again, we're just working on the cross forest scenario here. GP update on the Win 10 machine. We eventually did see that Phoenix DC1 did trust that cert once we did a GP update there as well. We could begin issuing AACO certs in BBCO and they would be trusted now. So we can see it's all good there. So we just have a few steps left and that's really all going to be done with this strip script called PKI sync that will move specific objects between CAs and uh, we can look forward to that video shortly. It's going to take a little bit of work to uh, get that to you, but I hope you're enjoying these. Uh, please share, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. We're doing this just for this purpose of sharing a variety of technical information that I hope you find enjoyable. And thank you again.